Okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> the, we have many centers around the world or places where we come together, where there's the education in the nature of mind, where the introduction to our vast, powerful mind is offered. That's what we're doing here. So the introduction to the nature of our mind. What is our mind? Our mind is like vast and extremely potent and powerful. It's vast like the sky and when we do the introduction here, we'll do it here together again and um, it's we stop thinking and we can all do that right now at the moment. We stop thinking for a moment and what remains is alertness, a clarity and open intelligence, open vast like the sky and then you can't keep thoughts away so thoughts come in again like just now you saw you had a couple of thoughts maybe like what is it again <laughs> what is open intelligence but everything appears within that vast space open intelligence like my voice and the echo <laughs> there's some kind of echo there in the, in the sound Mm -hmm. and, um, but everything appears equally in that vast space of like space here, yeah, everything that appears in space is, appears equally in space. So what we call all these thoughts, emotions, everything we hear, um, smell, everything we can feel, and we have many things we can smell here in India, many things we can hear, all the emotions and thoughts constantly, countless and ceaseless and unpredictable, we put it all into one definition, data. Data, actually. <laughs> data, that's Australian, I think. <laughs> okay, usually I don't say data, I don't know where that came from. In German we say daten, so that maybe it's from there. Okay, so we have all the languages here, all the backgrounds and everyone comes together here to recognize who we are, no matter what the background is. And that's powerful because we unite in something about us that is so potent, filled with power to be of benefit to all. We are entirely beneficial. But when focusing on all our thoughts and emotions and experiences, then, like we heard in the video just now, then we can we reduce our power into a small little dot of descriptions and that's from what the place from where we operate from. And to recognize that choice we have as a human being to choose how to use our mind in an extremely potent and powerful way that is vast and limitless, that can be immediately free of any limitations and is immediately beneficial to whatever is needed in any kind of situation you are in or time and place. <coughs> and, um, and to know this about ourselves, is, it's amazing. And that's what we do here when we come together in these centers or in these training settings or open meetings. We have the introduction to the nature of mind that is always on, that's right, it's always on, but we were so used to focusing on all the ex descriptions, all these data, that we didn't, re that, we, that we ignored or actually didn't know about that power within us, open intelligence, <coughs> and that is always there. It's inseparable from all these data. Now that's the amazing news about it. So it's not like something next to you or next to the data. It's inseparable from the data and um, like the color blue in the sky. When you hear that, like the color blue in the sky, it's inseparable. You can't separate out the color blue in the sky. And that's the same with all the data that you have in open intelligence. They're inseparable. It's nothing to think about. When we think about it, it can get really into like 
what, how is that inseparable? It's more like instinctive recognition that is evoked and transmitted by just coming here and listening to these shares and direct instructions about open intelligence. They directly evoke open intelligence and confirm, basically confirm open intelligence. And then we have the Four Mainstays, which is a support system that empowers open intelligence, like in every moment. And it's four mainstays, so there are different tools and set of instructions that, that lead to the result of open intelligence potency, open intelligence benefit. And then in the beginning, it is really only like a brief second that it's obvious, or maybe it's not obvious at all. When I came to my first open meeting, the only thing I could say I, was, I want to come back. But everything else, I didn't quite know what it was about. But I knew I wanted to come back. So that coming back is, that's what I share from my experience. And you hear that when trainers share, just come back and show up. And that's really easy and effortless. So nothing needs to, like we don't have to do anything. We don't have to dress a certain way or have certain kinds of thoughts. You don't have to be a certain way to recognize open intelligence. And that's brilliant because it's the fundamental nature of every human being and no matter who we are. And so then you recognize open intelligence for a short moment and that is repeated many times and then you hear until it's obvious at all times. But what you just shared about your experience that sometimes it's close and sometimes it's so far away, that's really normal, that's how it works. It's recognized in an instant, you just recognize it right here, open intelligence vast, open, no matter what you're thinking, even if you're thinking, I don't get it, doesn't limit you. That's a good one. Huh? <laughs> so you just let it all be as it is and recognize that power and potency. And it is for a split second. Don't try to get, stay in a state of open intelligence. Like sometimes we think open intelligence is this and that, and then we have to recreate it. But the power is in letting it all be as it is, all our data be as it is. And for a short moment, and we repeat it again and again. So if we don't know what a short moment is, then we come to these open meetings, because then just by hearing open intelligence, seeing people who choose to rely on open intelligence rather than on all the thoughts and emotions, because when you emphasize thoughts and emotions, like I said, then you really caged into these descriptions that are open like space. Then we create a reality based on descriptions that is so limiting. <coughs> and what we need, not only for ourselves, we really want to, well, I always wanted to be free. I also want to be a good human being and help or be of benefit, but also wanted to be free. And so that's like when you hear it, it's a, that's the starting point and that's incredible. Complete mental and emotional stabili stability. The starting point as being the result of relying on the four mainstays. And these four mainstays, we were talking about, about the short moments as the first one. And then these training settings where talks are given and, you know, the website has many talks. And then there we have countless training material, texts that do just one thing. They confirm open intelligence in a really powerful way. Like they evoke the power in us, the power to be of great benefit. And what I really love is that you know, it's not about recognizing open intelligence and being free. So that's, that's, the, that's the good thing. But what, what, is, what comes on top of it is the power to be of great benefit in this world. And to use like information that is out there and recognizing the fundamental nature of all information, all data, and recognize and realize perfect knowledge. And perfect knowledge is for the benefit of all. So everything is used and processed without effort for the benefit of all. And then you can see how we as benefit creators can make happen that a world 
can focus on beneficial innovation, beneficial action. And how can we talk about this in such an assured way? It's just about our own experience. And then it gets so clear how that is possible for a whole world and a society when it's possible here. You know, we have probably many countries here. We could list them all, I would, th I would think, over 20 maybe. Maybe more even. What do you think? More? Okay. Maybe more. It's amazing. And um, well, in the worldwide community, there are people clicking on the website almost in all countries. And that's amazing when we can see it in the Google Analytics and just seeing no matter who we are, what background it is, what religion, what belief systems we have, we all can recognize a fun the fundamental nature of who we are and recognize that power to be of great benefit because that we have in common. And that really doesn't have to be limited by all the belief system we've learned. And to recognize that, that's the process of the 12 empowerments. And it was, you were talking about the unfolding and referring to the 12 empowerments. That's a 12 day training in Bam's view that specifically introduces us to the Four Mainstays lifestyle, to open intelligence, and to look at all the data and belief systems where we limited ourselves to a little dot. Maybe we also limited ourselves to a big one, but then it's also limiting <laughs> to a big dot. <laughs> but um, either way, we recognize all data and see the fundamental nature of all data. And it seems like it's unfolding and everything is dropping away, like what is left and when it's inexhaustible. But we don't have to get rid of anything about us or change, you know, like be something like open intelligence and what is that then? It's really about recogn recognizing the limitless power to be of immediate and spontaneous benefit that gets sharpened and unfolds in the process of the 12 empowerments. Plus including to be completely free. So my, like when I look at my life, it's like, totally at ease, even though maybe lots can go on, data, and, um, but at ease and, and just fearless and of benefit. And it's really everything I wanted. And so the 12 empowerments is, 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 that, is that training that goes step by step. And I think you're on empowerment six today and it is, Amazing when you look at all the data and then in empowerment six it says we are getting entirely ready to let data be as it is. So we be introduced to open intelligence and then we have the tools like the short moments and we have the training text and the media. And then we see all these amazing people who are relying on open intelligence. That's the community. And then we and the, the third mainstay is the trainer. And we have people who've gone before who are sharing their experience of relying on the four mainstays. And all this together works in a powerful way and just confirms again and again who we are. And then the empowerments are so skillful in how they take us through all the data and and recognize open intelligence and recognize how powerful we are. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a total relief. But uh, it's good that you brought that up and you can bring it up again in your group also. It feels like we're losing everything because all the belief systems open up, but you use them for the benefit of all. They all get a perfect context and nothing about us needs to change. So that's amazing. Yeah, so we have many one-day trainings too, so then there's no need to jump into a 12-day training. <laughs> one-day training is to, to test out how, does it, how is it to go into a training setting where all the four mainstays are introduced where we can get to know how it is to have a text that confirms open intelligence 
and be with people who speak about their own experience. And then it becomes obvious in our experience, and we want to see it in our own experience. So that's the invitation here, to check it out. Come to the open meetings, that's perfect too, and that's how I did it, just showing up. And then it just becomes more and more obvious, like in daily life, no matter where we are. So it is, um, it's, a, it's a great gift. <laughs>